Reddit, what became of the least popular kids in your high school? Kid I went to high school with got a restraining order put on him after stalking a couple girls in our class. He said that they were angels sent to him from God. According to his facebook, he's now a real estate agent and is the prophet of a religion that he started. Somehow I'm not at all surprised to see real estate agent and prophet of a religion that he started together. More accurately, I'm not at all surprised to see the second with the first as opposed to any other normal job. I did not become the next Anna Bomber, as voted by my high school classmates. So that's nice. I remember people are really nice to me one day at school. I had no end idea why, but was paranoid for the whole day that they were building up to something. Then later on the news I heard about Columbine. Like duck. I didn't wear trench, and while my school life sucked I had no inclinations to shoot anyone. The added awareness of consequences of bullying were interesting though. According to Facebook he's a banker in New York City, has three kids, and acts as a bloodthirsty viking in medieval reenactments on the weekend. Seems pretty happy and successful. The weird thing is he had long, straight, blonde hair in high school, perfect for a viking, but he has since cut it all off and wears a wig in the reenactments. You get a lot of mistreatment when you're an adult male with long hair, especially from guys who thought you were a girl from behind and are the kind of guys who hit on every girl. Source, had long hair in my early 20s. He was a friend of mine. While I never fit in with any of the cliques in school I got along pretty well with just about anyone. He didn't make many friends or talk to anyone most days. He just seemed withdrawn and a bit odd sometimes. I met him in first grade and while we weren't best friends we talked quite a bit. Hung out once in a while and had some good times over the years. He was a bit of an outcast through most of school. Probably only had one or two other friends besides me. He was ridiculed. Called names. And worst he was just downright ignored. After high school he worked a few places finally ending up at the local Walmart. I would still stop and see him and hang out when I was home from college. About 3 years after we graduated his mother passed away from cancer. 3 months later his father had a heart attack and passed away as well. Understandably for a time, after he lost his parents he just seemed completely off his rails. I honestly thought he was going to self destruct. He worked through it with some professional help and he was putting his life back together. I spent some time helping him whenever I could, and he was healing. A year to almost the day that his mother died he didn't show up for work and didn't call off. Even at his lowest, after he lost his parents he showed up when he was scheduled, or at the very least call off. His boss called me because I guess I was the only person left he knew to list as a contact. I left work after I got the call and went to make sure he was okay make sure he wasn't so sick or something that he couldn't call off work. I found him dead at 10 17 am. Still in bed. The image of that moment will be burned into my mind forever. I found out later that he passed in his sleep from an undiagnosed condition. Something that caused multiple organ failures. He was 22 years old. Godspeed Dave. I hope you found some peace in whatever comes next. It has to be better than the hand you were dealt in this life kid was always an introverted band member. Went to elementary through high school with him. He is now in a pretty popular screamer band and is touring the U.S. Playing at venues like the Crowfoot and Warp Tour. Still looks like your classic nerd though. Least popular kid here. I remember a day where there was a fist fight in the lunch line because two boys didn't want to stand next to me. I ate lunch in the choir room because otherwise I risked being teased the entire time. The band and choir rooms were my only escape. I teach band now. I don't hate on the popular kids and I don't force group work. But I do keep an eye out in particular for kids that are being excluded. It's so much sneakier than outright bullying and it hurts so much. I want to make sure my room is available as a sanctuary for those kids that may not have somewhere else to go. Honestly this is incredibly nice of you. I'm sure they appreciate it. There was this super quiet mousy girl named Rachel who, upon graduation, got a job at Walmart. A 45 year old shelf stoker noticed her and basically made a project out of ducking her the moment she turned 18. 
wound up knocking her up basically the first time she had sex with him, and she gives birth to a daughter. Rachel's dad lost his mind when he found out she was pregnant and beat the shit out of the guy and was then charged with assault and now has a criminal record. This was just under 20 years ago and I just heard that Rachel's daughter, who is 18, now just got impregnated by her 50 year old boyfriend. So, the cycle shall continue. Oh no, it is spelled Ohio. There was this guy who I was in middle and high school with who was picked on mercilessly. He had a rough home life and was a little weird and had no social skills, but he didn't deceive the amount of bullying he got. I won't pretend I was completely innocent of the bullying either, though sometimes when it got too far I stood up for him. We were both band jeeks so, even though he drove me crazy he was still a part of my social circle and someone I looked out for. I really do wish I had been nicer to him. Fuck. Some of the teachers even bullied him. Our middle school band teacher was merciless toward him. And I think that is why so many people thought it was okay to bully him. At prom he brought this drop dead gorgeous girl from another school and the bullying still didn't stop. People asked her why she came with him and told her to leave him for them. She was really sweet to him. Though. He goes off to college and his life college. Only one person at our school goes there. A. Girl who was always nice to him. He gets a whole new set of friends and meets all these people who live him. He becomes very popular. I haven't spoken to him in a few years, but his life seemed pretty good. He seemed happy. I'm glad. I was the least popular kid in high school now I upgraded to being least popular kid in university. It's cool. I don't know if he was truly the least popular because he was well known by everyone. He was just not well liked. But he kind of got through life by truly not caring. He hit on every girl constantly and unsuccessfully, as far as I could tell. Was generally creepy. I don't know what happened to him for about 20 years. But I reconnected with him on FB when we were late 30s. He spent a decent amount of time apologizing to people publicly there and became a sheriff's deputy in a mid-sized southern US town. Which set off red flags to me but all of them seemed to be unfounded. He seems to be doing okay, and is married to a woman he appears to adore. That's nice character development. Him dead tired, but still doing kind of okay. Moved to the USA. Works for Google on a six figure salary. Watched some of his podiums on YouTube. Smart guy. This one guy I was friends with from K12 who was quite unpopular started out quite well. He had an okay job. But he managed to marry a beautiful woman and have two beautiful kids in spite of being fairly unattractive himself. Sounds like a happy story. But then his wife left him. His parents both died. His kids want nothing to do with him. And he's entered a spiral of depression that has pushed away anyone who is left in his life. There was this kid at my school who was pretty camp. So people called him gay a lot. He hated it. He got called gay several times a day every day for years. When he eventually got a girlfriend, people would say things to her, like you know your boyfriend is gay, right? Which obviously annoyed them both. I looked him up on Facebook yesterday. He's happily dating a man. The prophecy has been fulfilled. This happened with a friend of mine. Before he was my friend all the guys, myself included, rid him for being gay. He denied it. Made out with Slash. Dated lots of girls, especially compared to me who dated none of them, etc. And when I eventually became good friends with him, I kinda forgot about how much we used to tease him. We end up going to the same college, and about 3 months in I bump into him in a club and he's like I've got something to tell you. I'm gay and I was all are okay. Cool. We always kinda knew. Would you like a drink? Apostrophe. He's married to a guy now, and super happy I think. He ended up raping a girl. His girlfriend distributed his nudes in high school. The kid had a hard time. After high school he became a plumber and everyone kind of forgot. Still fixed the shit out of my pipes. Looks like brand new. So I'd say 10 tenths. Because I haven't had a problem ever since. One became a video editor for a Christian media company. And is still a complete piece of shit. The other works in a sugar factory. And seems to have matured a lot. And me? Well. Some say I'm still shit posting on the internet to this very day. Oddly enough, my school didn't have any unpopular kids. 
We all got along fine. Granted my graduating class had like 60 people. But still. We all went to school together from first grade on. So we all knew each other and got along perfectly fine. Most of the kids in my class went on to college. The ones that didn't either went into the military, jail, or joined the workforce on the railroad slash refinery. Rural schools are weird like that. I'm on Reddit now. Please click subscribe if you enjoyed this video.